Last year sometime I did a video in which I uh, showed you how to compare um, the economics of different bulbs, um, how you could calculate how much a bulb costs to use depending on uh, how much you used it each day, uh, how much that would add up to over a month or a year. And the idea was to give you uh, some information that would help you decide between getting an energy efficient bulb like an LED or a compact fluorescent or whether you should just go with a standard incandescent. But the comment section of that video actually has become rather active and there's a lot of people making arguments for and against uh, the different kinds of light bulbs. And there's been some questions raised over whether the, the actual watt um, rating printed on the package of a compact fluorescent is actually what it uses. Uh, some suggested that the ballast uses some in addition to the bulb and what's on the package reflects just what the bulb uses. Um, others have said that a uh, compact fluorescent uses a lot when you first plug it in, when it first starts up, but then tapers off later. And so I wanted to, to figure out um, uh, just, just what is the truth and what, uh, how much does uh, CFL use? Is, is the packaging correct? And what I have here is a kilowatt meter. It actually gives you in real time or near real time the amount of watts being used. Uh, now this doesn't update instantly. It takes a second or two once you have something plugged into it. So if the CFL uses uh, some extra uh, uh, wattage immediately when it's plugged in, we could possibly miss that. But if it uses it for any length of time, it'll show up on the screen. To start with, I have just a standard 100 watt incandescent bulb. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and see how much it uses. And it's saying 103, 103 watts. And I'm just going to give it a minute and see what happens. Looks like it dropped to 102. And it looks like it's pretty much staying put there, 103 again. So it's actually just a tad over 100 watts, but pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and uh, put a different bulb in here and try it. Let's see if I can get this out of here without burning my fingers. One thing incandescents do is make a little heat. Uh, what I have here now is a, a so-called 60 watt equivalent uh, compact fluorescent, but it actually uses 14 watts, but with light output similar to a 60 watt. I found that isn't always all that accurate. Um, sometimes you uh, you find that you have to get a 75 watt equivalent to actually get the light output of a 60 watt. But you can still look at the amount of watts it uses and make a decision uh, based on that as opposed to what's on the package. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Remember this is supposed to be 14 watts. Now I see 13. I thought I saw I thought I saw a glimpse of something else there. Let me try again here. We're down to zero. Now let's turn it on. And now it's saying 11, 13. I thought when I flipped it down the first time I saw a 20 just briefly, but um, I might have been dreaming. Uh, right now it's 14. So it appears like it's pretty much on target. I'm going to wait just a couple more seconds here. It looks like it's staying pegged right on 14, and that's what it's supposed to be on. So I'm going to turn that off, and we'll go to the next victim, which is, I believe, a 100-watt equivalent. It is rated at 26 watts. So let's put this in here and see what it tells us. 11, 22... 21, back to 22, and it looks like it's staying put right there. Now this, it says 26, so this one here actually is a little better than what the package says. It's now though climbed to 24, so maybe we're going to get to 26 after a bit. Now it's 25. We're headed in that direction. I think it's getting a little brighter as it climbs in wattage. Now it's 26 watts. Let's see if it stops there, whether it goes higher. I saw a 27 briefly. There it is again, 27. So it's cheating us a little bit. It's one watt over the rating. Back to 26. It looks like it's staying put right there. Um, it was on 27 for just a bit. So I don't know if I've learned anything conclusive here necessarily, but it would appear that 
um, the ratings are pretty close. Um, you're not getting a, a lot more um, energy consumption than what is printed right on the package. I don't have any LEDs to test, um, so all I can uh, speak for is the compact fluorescence and this incandescent that I'm uh, testing out here. But uh, once again, I welcome your comments. Um, I'm not uh, of a strong opinion one way or the other as far as light bulbs. Um, I'm the type of person that I, I choose more on uh, cost savings than anything. I guess you could call me a tightwad, but um, it's interesting to read uh, the, the various opinions that we get in the comments. So uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.